Hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name is Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. This week I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm afraid, uh, so I haven't written any tasting notes. We're just going to ad lib it. Uh, possibly a slightly risky thing to do because we're going to look at a, a, a style of whiskey that I'd never tried before, at least not knowingly. Uh, traditional Irish pot still whiskey. And we have an excellent, well I'm led to believe is an excellent example of this, the Red Breast 12 year old, which is distilled at the Middleton uh, Distillery in County Cork. Um, traditional Irish pot still whiskies used to be very popular. They fell out of favour, people wanted the cheaper blends, the, the things that are, um, you know, the, the Jamesons and Bushmills that, that I think. I mean, the Irish whisky industry has suffered so terribly in comparison to the Scotch whisky industry um, through the Great Depression and uh, Prohibition and just changing tastes from there. Um, so yeah, a traditional Irish pot still whisky is uh, made entirely from barley, but part of the mash is unmalted barley. Um, the reason that it developed this way is because the, uh, the UK uh, excise man wanted some money out of the distilling industry, but instead of um, claiming duty on the finished product, they claimed duty on the malted barley. So the Irish, not being as stupid as uh, the 1980s pub jokes would indicate, um, decided to make their whiskey with a proportion of unmalted barley to um, to reduce the cost and to keep some money out of the tax man's hands, which is uh, not a bad idea. Uh, that style of whiskey, as I say, it went out of favour. Uh, people were looking for a lighter style of whiskey and a cheaper uh, product, and nowadays we've got the Bushmills and the, the Jamesons, which are uh, more often than not, I think, uh, consumed as a chaser after a pint of toxic lager in a horrible bar. Um, so it's a terrible shame. There are a couple of um, examples of uh, Irish pots still left. The Red Breast and the um, Middleton Green Spot are the two that have been um, uh, produced continuously for uh, the longest period of time. So I'm new to this style, forgive me. Uh, for my uh, for not having a great deal to compare it to. I uh, bought this bottle a couple of weeks ago. I have to say, when I first opened it, I was excited to open it, but I was very, very disappointed when I first opened it. Uh, it was in uh, not the best of moods, and it was like a sherried whiskey that had been like a part of it had been deleted from it. It was very papery, newsprinty, warm paper bag. Um, I'm very pleased to say that after a while, uh, after a, a few uh, short weeks, the, the flavour and the nose really, really did improve beyond, um, beyond recognition, actually. This is bottled at 40%. Uh, I don't know about colouring, but I would guess it's chill filtered if it's bottled at that low. Um, alcohol strength and uh, it is triple distilled as well. Uh, it's aged partly in uh, sherry cast. It's got a very nice colour, real or not, that's uh, more like a rose gold colour. Very, very nice. A very, very sweet and inviting nose. It is oily and waxy. And juicy as well. Very, very inviting nose. There's not a hint of smoke and there's not a hint of an alcohol note either. It'd be very interesting actually to try the um, the cast strength version and see just how much of an, of an alcohol tickle or burn that I get from that. But yeah, there's no alcohol, even for a 40% bottling, there's, there's, there's no alcohol burn. Nice and supple and oily. There's a hint of, um, 
hint of mint, fresh mint. And this is going to sound really weird, Wrigley's Juicy Fruit as well, the, the chewing gum. A lot of sherry, a hint of creamy vanilla, quite a lot of creamy vanilla actually. And just a, a bit of Christmas cake, raisins and a very light mulled wine spice. Yeah, Christmas cakey, really, really nice. Sweet cherry, the mouthfeel, just so Moorish, it's so oily and sweet with a, a brown sugar, hint of spice at the back, wow this is good, this is very easy go, um, but still, and, and not all that challenging, but still, Well, well worth the bite. When you, this is kind of a sherry monster style of, of whiskey. And when you set it in terms of price, I think I paid 63 Canadian plus tax for it. Um, when you set it against price against the, um, the Scotch single malt sherry monsters, it starts to look like a very good bite. It's certainly an interesting thing to have. It's not all that malty, possibly because it's got <laughs> a good proportion of the mash is not malt. But in something of this style of this age, you usually expect a, a, a meaty uh, oaty oat cake type thing. But here it's just all of those fruit flavours and, and spice. Hints of red fruit. just goes down so nicely. Quite dangerous this actually. I'm glad I persevered with it. Um, as I say, when I first opened it, it was like a, um, a warm paper bag. But it's, it's improved beyond recognition in the couple of weeks it's been open. Um, I could really see myself hanging out with this um, on a long evening. It's uh, certainly a unique thing, and I think every Scotch drinker should buy uh, a traditional Irish pot still whiskey. Let's give them some support. Let's show that the uh, that there's that there's good whiskey still being being produced on, despite the the change of taste which has led to all of those. Uh, all of those chasers being produced at, at Bush Mills and at Jameson's. Honey. A slight char from the barrel, but not much. I'd consider it pretty much smoke free, certainly peat free. syrupy but like a hint of spice but it does it, it's a taste of spice not an attack of spice really good really easy going um, I would like to try the 15 and I think there's a 21 as well the 21 I think is a bit too on the high side uh, the 15 I'd be interested in trying um, the 21 perhaps a bit too much on the high side. Uh, there is another 
traditional Irish pot still available to me in Canada, that would be the Middleton Green Spot, and I'm very keen to try that as soon as I as soon as I can get my hands on it. So, another um, another genre of whiskey is has opened up to me. Okay, thank you very much. I, I feel like I've rushed it slightly. I uh, should have been able to tell you a bit more, but there we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. Cheers.